The Goosebumps community on YouTube may not be huge, but it's got a ton of amazing creators that you need to watch, like Canada's Biggest Goosebumps fan. Biggest is certainly correct. Just look at this collection. Canada's Biggest Goosebumps fan is hosted by Ella, who specializes in finding and showing locations used in the Goosebumps TV show and even the movies. It's cool seeing the spots where Goosebumps is made in person. Well, not actually in person, but you get what I'm saying. Something else that's great about Ella's videos is getting to see the comparison between what these buildings and areas look like in Goosebumps compared to present day. Another awesome part about these videos is that in some cases, these Goosebumps locations are being demolished, like the house in Night of the Living Dummy 3. It's nice having this stuff preserved through Canada's biggest Goosebumps fan, and that's why you should give it a watch. Michael Goosebumps Fan Michael's channel is one of the larger ones in the Goosebumps YouTube community, with about 20 2,500 subscribers as of me saying this. He's been uploading since 2019 and has reviewed a ton of Goosebumps books, from the original series, to Horrorland, to Slappy World, to even Goosebumps Presents. Michael covers just about anything. He even discusses Goosebumps news from time to time. Michael himself will admit that his videos aren't the flashiest, but that's kind of what I enjoy about them. They're pretty simple, just a dude talking about Goosebumps. However, what makes this dude named Michael especially enjoyable to listen to is his voice and you are being driven to your aunt and uncle's house by your aunt and uncle to spend, I guess it's the summertime. Michael's got a great set of pipes and that's one of the reasons why I think you should give his channel a watch. Goosebuds. Okay, these guys are more of a podcast, but they do have a YouTube channel where they upload a lot of their episodes, so I'm counting them. Plus, Goosebuds is just very entertaining to listen to. Basically, three guys, Paul, Chad, and Kevin, are reviewing every Goosebumps book. They started in 2014 with Welcome to Dead House and are still going today. Currently, they're working their way through the Series 2000 books. I'll be frank, Goosebuds isn't for everyone. It's definitely made for an older audience, and it can be a bit chaotic at times, but that's that's kind of what I like about it. Their sometimes blunt thoughts on Arlstein's stories are pretty interesting, and even if I don't always agree with Paul, Chad, and Kevin, Goosebuds is always entertaining, and that's why you should check them out. Goosebumps the Series. This channel is very cool. As you might have guessed, Goosebumps the Series is making their own Goosebumps show, an unofficial one at least. They create adaptations of Goosebumps books, but also do some of their own original stuff using Goosebumps characters. They don't upload as frequently as other channels, but considering how much time it takes to write, film, and edit an episode, it's understandable. In fact, one of their videos is over an hour long, so they definitely earn a pass for not uploading as often. I love seeing this channel bring Arl Stein's books to life, but I also enjoy seeing their production and filmmaking get better with each upload. Goosebumps the series even has a website where you can submit Goosebumps books you'd like to see them adapt. While we wait for the new Goosebumps show on Disney+, Plus, give Goosebumps the series a watch. Goosebumps Aussie Fan It would be a sin not to include this guy. Originally known as Goosebumps number one Aussie Fan, the man behind the channel, Bjorn, has been uploading videos since 2015. The thing to know about him is he has one of the biggest Goosebumps collections ever. It's very likely the largest in the world. He also has probably the largest Goosebumps YouTube channel in the world, with over 300 videos. With how many videos he's created, and for how long he's been uploading, Bjorn doesn't have one video format. He's done collection videos, he's made skits, shared Goosebumps news, created his own short movies, and just general Goosebumps discussions. Bjorn's most recent videos are mainly unboxing and collecting themed content, which is pretty cool. Like I mentioned, Goosebumps Aussie fan has been around for just about ever, so if you haven't watched him, go check out his videos. Speaking of videos, I got four videos on screen, one from four of the YouTubers I talked about. Sorry Goosebumps Aussie fan, YouTube wouldn't let me out of fifth. Give them a watch and let these channels know that Nightmare Fueled Entertainment sent ya.